everybody. It was a long day today. Jacob and Tyler are talking about the trout tournament. How is it time for the trout tournament again? It was just like a few months ago. <laughs> I really didn't realize it has been a year since the trout tournament. I'm going at least third. Jacob's started. already claiming at least third place this year, at least. Tyler's staying first. I'm just over here making some chocolate chip donuts for breakfast in the morning. I was gonna make strawberry lemon donuts but I would probably be about, well, Jonah might, he would like them okay, but he would still like chocolate chip better. I'm the only person who would really like the strawberry lemon donuts, so. You know what, I'm trying to decide if I wanna bake them tonight or if I just wanna make them tonight, like make the batter, just stick them in the refrigerator. It changes up a little bit if you do that though, so I think I'll go ahead and bake them tonight. I have the donuts done, and then in the morning, I'll make some bacon or sausage and eggs go with them. But yeah, it's been a long day. We had some things we had to go do this afternoon. We got back later than I thought we were going to, and I was getting ready to cook supper. First, I was cleaning up a little bit because it was kind of messy in here, and I just like to clean up before I cook. So I was cleaning up a little bit, and as I was cleaning, Tyler was like, hey mama, is it a fine what you want not? And I said, no, I'm about to start cooking. Then the more I thought about it, the more I was like, mm-hmm, it's a fine what you want not. So that's what we did. The kids love fine what you want nots. I just put in one cup and a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour. My flour thing is so full, it's like, it makes a mess every time. I don't love fine what you want nots. I never really have, I don't know why. I guess it's because I can never think of what I want. <laughs> I ate a ham sandwich. Now we're gonna put in three fourths of a cup of sugar. This is my half cup scoop, so put in one and a half of those. Yeah, I mean, it really just seems like the trout tournament was not that long ago. Jake was saying that they moved it a little bit farther this year. They normally have it in March, but they moved it to April because it's always so cold, <laughs> like it is right now. All right, now we're gonna put in a teaspoon of baking powder. All the little kids have already gone to bed. Yeah, but I'm gonna link the lemon strawberry donuts down below for y'all because they look so good. Then I thought about making them with blackberries instead of strawberries because I have a few blackberries. Then I also still knew then it would pretty much just be me who would eat one, so. Now we're gonna go with a quarter teaspoon of salt. They are, in the morning I will make the glaze, so we won't make that part tonight. I'm just gonna make a little glaze to go over the top of them. Okay, now we need a tablespoon of melted butter. Y'all hear the Andy Griffith show in the background? Can anybody guess which episode this is? I don't know if y'all heard anything going on with it. Okay, let me get an egg. A little butter. 
But you be messing up my microwave. I just cleaned it the other day. <laughs> one egg, one tablespoon melted butter, and we're gonna put in a teaspoon of vanilla and about half a cup of milk. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with just a little bit more milk in here. Probably about a fourth of a cup more. Now, you could stop here and just have like your plain baked donuts, or you could add any kind of fruit. You could add cinnamon and make some of those, oh, I love those cinnamon donuts. Those are some of my favorite ones. <laughs> Y'all want cinnamon or chocolate chip? Okay, they want chocolate chip. Anyway, you could add cinnamon here. Whatever you want to add. This is just like your basic baked donut recipe here. For the lemon strawberry ones, you would just add some lemon juice, a little bit of lemon zest, and some chopped up strawberries. But we're going chocolate chip. So I'm gonna put in, I'll start with about a third of a cup, maybe just a little more there. Oven's ready. Okay, I got both of my donut pans out, but I don't know that I'll need both of them. We may only need this one that makes six. I'm not quite sure how many this is gonna make. The recipe says six to eight, but some donut pans are smaller than others. Like I have this one, and then I have this one, and these ones in the red one are a little smaller than these. So the super easy way to put this batter into the donut things is with a bag, like put it into a bag and then squeeze it in. But I'm all out of freezer bags or anything, so we're just gonna do it this way, and then we'll wipe off that middle part so it you know, doesn't bake over the where the donut hole is supposed to be. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get at least eight, looks like, maybe 10. Okay, I got this pan ready, and I'll just clean up this uh, mix off the middle parts here. Does anybody know what this episode is? Aunt B just said it's gone. I know, some of y'all know which one it is now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this on a uh, baking sheet. All right, these are going in the oven for about seven to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how many we can get in the other one. At this point, I'm just done trying to go around the little thing. We just dump it on here and I'll wipe it off. <laughs> yep, we're gonna get four of them. Okay. Did I, y'all, I didn't even set that timer earlier. Clear. Now while they're in the oven, I'll clean up my mess real quick. And boom, we have a big head start on breakfast. Okay, y'all. These ended up taking about 12 to 14 minutes or so. But uh, I did put mine on the baking sheet. So if you don't have a silicone donut uh, tray, like if yours is a regular donut pan, yours may only take around seven to nine minutes. But because of mine were the silicone and then I put them on a baking sheet, they took a little bit longer. I remembered something else I wanna tell y'all. I'm just waiting on these to cool down and I'm gonna put them in this bowl with my ham sandwich for supper. I sliced up a little bit of this scorpion pepper gouda it's amazing y'all were right about this stuff i'm gonna taste it again just the cheese with no food so i can tell y'all how spicy it is that way you'll know if you want to try it on a spicy scale of one to ten but i know i like spicy food so but on a spice scale of one to ten at certain points i would give this like a seven because if you get a big piece of the like pepper and stuff it, it's pretty spicy but if you don't like if it's just mostly cheese with little tiny bits of the pepper i would say five maybe so it's not extremely bad but you do get a good kick every once in a while when you get a big piece of the pepper it's really good because gouda is so good and then you add the pepper so it's kind of like a pepper jack but it's gouda it's great okay we're gonna take our donuts out now they should be ready there we go so these are kind of they're baked so they're almost like a chocolate chip muffin in the shape of a donut. <laughs> That's what they remind me of. So yeah, in the morning, we'll make a little glaze and our 5.30 or 5.45 a.m. selves will be very happy that our past selves made these donuts. It's the best way to have a good morning. Do as much as you can for the morning, the night before. Alright y'all, it's 
next morning. Got the bacon going. I was going to do sausage, but I decided on bacon last minute. It was a last minute decision. We're going to make the glaze real quick for the donuts. I'm just going to use powdered sugar, and I don't think I have any cream or half and half, so I'm just going to use a little bit of milk this time. I want it to be pretty thick so that it, you know, stays on top of the donuts instead of just, you know, running completely all. So we're not going to put much milk, just a little bit. Now we just dip the donuts in the glaze. I just have a little cutting mat here with the rack that's it's actually from my microwave. But it works great for a little drying rack. That shark eat your donut. You want some eggs and bacon? Um, not yet. Not yet? Okay. I need to try it. You want milk? Yeah. Good morning. 